Hi everyone, so I am here to show you how to manifest an amazing relationship because I, I did it, so if I can do it, you can do it. And I just got back seeing my hairstylist and I was telling her the story of how I met Jeremy and everyone I tell this story to, they all have the same reaction. They're either, how did you do that? How can you teach me how to do that? And you need to write a book. And so I figured, you know what? I might as well just go on Facebook Live and share it with you all. Because like I said, if I can do it, then you can do it. Hi, Cassandra. So, and it's also to show you that like law of attraction works for those of you who think that we can't think about what we want and then actually have it happen. We actually can. Hi, Liz. So, it's, it's crazy how it happened. So I went to this event and I'm a big law of attraction person. And I got reminded of this. I went to this event in December and they, they taught us about declarations and it comes from think and grow rich. Amazing, amazing book. If you haven't read it, read it, but it's all about declarations of what you want. And so he was saying, you need to write a declaration about what you want. So I was like, you know what? I've been single for seven years. Thanks, Cassandra. So I've been single for seven years and I'm ready to find a relationship. I've done so much work on myself. It's time for me to find it. And so I was like, I'm going to write a declaration for a relationship. And this is the beginning of December. And I wrote out exactly how the relationship was because you're supposed to write about it like it's already happened. So I wrote about him and how great we are together. And then I said in my declaration, I said by April 1st, I will have met him. And so fast forward. Oh, and then every single day in my car driving to work, just driving anywhere, I would just remind myself like, I'm so happy and grateful that we are so happy together and he treats me so well. And I just like went off on my head about what I wanted just over and over again. And now fast forward to Jeremy because Jeremy did the same thing. He just didn't realize what he was doing. So the day before we matched, so we matched on Tinder. I am actually, I actually found love on Tinder, so it can happen. But the day before we matched is he was calling his mom and he told his mom, this is the year I'm going to find my girl. And so we matched in, what was it? April 17th. We matched on Tinder and we didn't think we were going to get to meet because he had some vacations scheduled. And so we didn't think we we're going to get to meet for two weeks. So it wasn't that big of a deal. Well, the next day I was, it's Saturday night. I was bored at home. I'm working on my business and I wanted to flirt with cute guys. And I was in my pajamas, was not wanting to meet anyone. It's Saturday night. And so I'm flirting with Jeremy. And because we realized we can't meet each other for two weeks, he's like, well, I have to go take my dog for a walk. Would you want to come with me? Okay. So ladies, first of all, meeting a guy off Tinder, right? First thing, midnight on a Saturday night to walk his dog. I'm in my 30s. When I was in my 20s, I probably would have fell for it. But in my 30s, I'm like, what the heck? So here's, here's the incredible thing about it. He sent me that text message, says, hey, come over, walk my dog with me. My body literally like stood up. Like I didn't stand up. My body stood up. My stomach was in knots. My head was just screaming at me, go, go, go. And I'm like, what the heck? It's 12, it's midnight on a Saturday. No. And so I'm like fighting with myself. And finally I'm like, okay. So I just started getting ready and I ended up meeting him and we had a great conversation. And I told myself as soon as I got to his house, I was like, okay, I'm going to go. I'm going to stay on the outside of his house. I'm going to wait till he brings out this dog. We're going to go walk his dog. And then we're going to go, and then I'm going to say goodbye at his house and leave. And that's pretty much what happened. I did go in with him after, and he gave me my first kiss, but I did leave that night. And so I just wanted to share that with you guys because it's like I freaking manifested him, and he manifested me the night before. And it really works because I've been single for seven years, and I've never done this. And so I just wanted to, to share that with you guys. And 
lets you know that you can do this with anything. If you're in a happy relationship, you can do this with money. You can do this with weight release. You can do this with loving yourself more. I don't know. Like you, there's, there's so much that you can do with it. And so I just wanted to share with you how it manifested for me and how I'm so happy in my relationship and you can do it too. So hi, Leah and Chris and Adam and Cynthia. I'm trying to see. I know there were some other people. Tanya, thank you. Hi, Heather. Gil. Yay. Okay. Thank you guys for watching. So yeah, you can manifest whatever you want. Oh, and another thing is I'm really excited because I'm getting ready to do this Facebook live series with you. So I'm not going to tell you exactly what it is yet, but keep, keep your eyes out because I'm getting ready to do this exciting series just to give you a lot of value, a lot of things that I do myself, a lot of things I do with my clients that work. So yeah. Hi, Zithia. Okay. Well, thank you guys. Keep me. Oh my gosh. If you use this declaration, I want to hear about it. Message me, call me, text me, whatever you have. I want to hear about how you are using your declaration and we can, we can swap stories. Jennifer, super important to be very clear on what you want, because if you miss something, you could find someone who isn't altogether available. That is very true. Yeah, and I was, oh, that's the other piece too. Sorry, you guys, I'm getting so, forgot what I was going to say. But I never once thought I wasn't going to meet him. I never once doubted it. I was like, nope, I'm going to meet him before April. I'm going to meet him before April. And every day I just like saw me together with this guy. So don't doubt yourself. Believe it. It works. Thank you, Cynthia. Okay. Bye, everyone.